In this video, I'll show you how to configure your Oracle Cloud infrastructure tenancy in preparation for installing Compute Cloud a customer. Preparing your OCI tenancy includes setting up these items. Federated identity provider, users and groups, compartments, policies, and virtual cloud network or VCN with a subnet. For information on setting up a federated identity provider and for an introduction to the Identity and Access Management, or IAM, service, check out the video, Introduction to Installing and Configuring Oracle Compute Cloud at Customer. For guidance on setting up VCNs and subnets, check out the video, Introducing Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Networks, and the video, Create a Virtual Cloud Network, and the video, Use the VCN Wizard to create a virtual cloud network. These and other Oracle Cloud infrastructure videos are available on YouTube and at www.oracle.com slash go to slash OLtrain. The focus of this video is setting up users and groups, compartments, and policies in your Oracle Cloud infrastructure tenancy. Setting up users and groups, compartments, and policies are customer activities that need to be completed from the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console or the OCI CLI or the OCI API. Identify users and create groups for the people in your organization who will administer the Compute Cloud at Customer infrastructure. Identify your tenancy administrator and create at least one IAM group with users who can perform the following administrative task. Create, update, and delete Compute Cloud at Customer infrastructures. Create, update, and delete Compute Cloud at Customer upgrade schedules. Recall that when preparing your OCI tenancy, it must be set up to use a federated identity provider to manage authentication. This enables you to use the same credentials to access Oracle Cloud infrastructure and Compute Cloud at Customer. Configuring users and groups depends on your identity provider configuration and Oracle Cloud infrastructure. I'll give an example of how to set up users and groups, but work with your Oracle representative who will assist you in setting up a federated identity provider to manage authentication and in setting up users and groups to administer the Compute Cloud at Customer infrastructure. To demonstrate from the OCI console, from the navigation menu, select Identity and Security to access the IAM Components window. Click Users. To set up user accounts for the people in your organization who will administer the Compute Cloud at Customer infrastructure, click Create User and provide the information shown. You are first prompted to select User Type. The default user type is Oracle Identity Cloud Services, which is recommended. IDCS is a federated user, so the user account is not local, but exists in a federated identity provider, which is required by Compute Cloud at Customer. The other user type, IAM user, is a local user. That is, it's local to the tenancy and not really useful to log into anything else. Once again, work with your Oracle representative who will assist you in setting up users and groups to administer the Compute Cloud at Customer infrastructure. I'll click Cancel. Click Groups to set up groups. Click Create Group. Provide a name and description. As previously mentioned, create at least one IAM group with users who can perform the following administrative task. Create, update, and delete Compute Cloud at Customer infrastructures. Create, update, and delete Compute Cloud at Customer upgrade schedules. I'll cancel for this demonstration. You'll then want to add your users to this group. To add a user to a group, click the group. Its details are displayed. Click Add User to Group. Select the user from the drop-down list and then click Add User. Click Compartments. To set up compartments, click Create Compartment and provide the information shown. Compartments behave like a filter for viewing resources. Users, groups, and federation providers reside in the tenancy itself, not in an individual compartment. For Compute Cloud at Customer, at least one compartment is needed for the following items. Compute Cloud at Customer Infrastructure Connection to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure the VCN you create for the connection to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Compute Cloud a customer can be connected to your tenancy or the root compartment, to an existing compartment, or to a new compartment. You can use multiple compartments. For example, you can use one compartment for the infrastructure connection and another for the VCN. Click Create Compartment to create. I'll cancel for this demonstration. 
And finally, click Policies to set up policies. Click Create Policy. There are three required policies to prepare your tenancy. Policy 1 allows users to create, read, update, and delete Compute Cloud at customer infrastructures and upgrade schedules. Here's an example of what that policy statement might look like. Allow any dash user to manage CCC dash family in tenancy where request dot principal dot type equal quote CCC infrastructure close quote. Policy two allows Compute Cloud a customer to use your IAM data for identity and access management on Compute Cloud a customer resources. Here's an example of what that policy statement might look like. Allow any dash user to open curly bracket compartment underscore inspect comma space user underscore inspect comma space group underscore inspect comma space dynamic underscore group underscore inspect comma space policy underscore read comma space tag underscore namespace underscore inspect comma space user underscore read comma, space, tag, underscore, default, underscore, inspect, comma, space, tag, underscore, namespace, underscore, read, close curly bracket, in tenancy, where, request, dot, principal, dot, type, equal, quote, CCC infrastructure, close quote. And policy three allows the Compute Cloud Customer Infrastructure Service to send you notification about upgrades. Here is an example of what that policy statement might look like. Allow any dash user to open curly bracket ONS underscore topic underscore inspect comma space ONS underscore topic underscore create comma space ONS underscore topic underscore publish comma space ONS underscore topic underscore delete close curly bracket in tenancy where all open curly bracket request dot principal dot type equal quote CCC infrastructure close quote comma space request dot principal dot compartment dot ID equal target dot compartment dot ID close curly bracket for more information about compute cloud customer policies you can use to control access to compute cloud customer infrastructure and upgrade schedule operations see the compute cloud customer policy reference at the URL shown for more information about Compute Cloud at Customer, refer to the Oracle Compute Cloud at Customer documentation. And for additional training videos like this, go to www.oracle.com go to oltrain. This concludes this video. Thank you for watching.